Welcome to Renegade New Recruit Training. I'm your operator, and it's my job to teach you how to fight back against the greatest threat that has ever faced humanity. This first training mission is the only one you will ever complete while relaxing indoors. Your movement activates your gear's battle skills. When a battle begins, you'll hear this sound. Then, in real time, you choose whether to use your gear's fast skill or its slow skill. Of course, on a real mission, you make that choice by physically speeding up or slowing down. But for now, we've given you special training buttons to simulate your fast and slow pace, just while you learn how everything works. First, tap the button by your fast pace. Your first piece of gear is energy spikes. With your energy spikes equipped, your fast skill is Spike Dash. It deals damage to the enemy. Starting a spike! At level 1, your Spike Dash deals 2.5 damage every second. After 10 seconds in your fast skill, your energy spikes need to cool down before you can activate Spike Dash again. If you end your skill early, your cooldown will be shorter. The enemy's energy is displayed in the circular meter around their portrait. Anytime you deal damage, you'll see the enemy's energy decrease. You'll see your team energy displayed in the green bar. When the enemy deals damage to your team, your team energy will go down. If your team energy gets down to zero, your team will lose the battle. Damage. Now let's change to your slow pace. The slow skill for energy spikes is called Recover. Recover restores your team's energy, and it's always ready to use. Your gear's slow skill never needs to cool down. Starting Recover! Switch back to your fast pace to resume your attack and finish off this slug. The team has 80 energy. about these enemies on future missions. For now, let's move on to teammates. In real missions, you'll have teammates who fight alongside you. If you decide to glance at the screen, you'll be able to see whether your teammates are attacking, defending, or healing the team. Let's simulate a battle now. Use your fast pace and slow pace strategically. Speed up when you want to attack with Spike Dash. Slow down to restore team energy with Recover. The team has 80 energy. Spike Dash stopped. You dealt 25 damage. The enemy has 25 Starting energy recover. left. You did it! Looks like you understand how gear works. I think you're ready to head outside for a real training mission. In your next training mission, that will be you out there battling these enemies. So lace up your athletic shoes, slap on some sunscreen, and start your next tutorial mission when you're ready to try it out for yourself.
back, recruit. This is your first real training mission, so you should already be outside and moving. Let's get started. First, we need to calibrate your gear, so you can choose your own personal fast and slow pace. We do this by setting a baseline pace. Anytime you go faster than your baseline pace, you will activate your fast skills. Moving slower than your baseline pace will activate your slow skill. Beginners often like to set their baseline pace at a walking pace. Let's set your baseline pace now. Move at a pace that feels easy for you. Make sure this is a pace you can speed up from when you want to activate your gear's fast skills. Calibration complete. Your energy spikes are reading your baseline pace as 24 minutes 45 seconds per mile. Your baseline pace is the cutoff between your gear's fast skill and its slow skill. When you move faster than this pace, you'll activate your spike dash. The baseline pace you just set will determine the threshold between your fast and slow skills in every mission until you choose to reset it. We call that little monster a slug. He's slimy and relatively harmless, but he sucks vital energy away from humans. As a renegade recruit, you can put a stop to it. Let's see what those energy spikes can do. When your energy spikes register your increased speed, they'll kick off your spike dash. When you hit something with your spike dash, it'll sound like this. Go ahead and speed up now to attack this slug. Remember, when you speed up, you'll activate your spike dash skill and attack the slug. Knock its energy down to zero to defeat it. What are you waiting for? Speed up to attack this slug. You can glance at the screen to check whether you're currently in your fast pace, which attacks, or your baseline pace, which restores the team energy. It has 50 energy. After a spike dash, your gear needs to cool down. This sound lets you know it's ready to use again. That's it! Your spike dash is ready again! Starting a spike dash! 